If you were to put me on the spot and ask, Hey Char, what's your sexual orientation? Go. Well, that's not really something you should go around asking people, but if you did, I would probably tell you I was gay. I came out as gay four years ago. I'm almost exclusively attracted to and interested in dating guys. I'm dating a guy right now. It just makes sense. But that's not the whole truth about me. When I was a teenager, for example, I had a few strong emotional crushes on girls. I've been attracted to non-binary people and occasionally to women. And before I came out, I had a girlfriend for almost a year. I've heard more than once from people once they've found out that I'm gay and had a girlfriend that that relationship was fake because I didn't know what I wanted. And that's kind of ridiculous. Just because you don't know exactly what you want does not mean that you can't have a real relationship. My girlfriend and I loved each other, still do, as dear friends, and we confided in each other the way that people in relationships do. I have two main fears, though, about what would happen if I started identifying as bi. Number one, that people would think, oh, I didn't realize Char had so much internalized homophobia. He's really gay, but he's going back into the closet so that people don't think he's gay. Or, two, that people would think, oh, Char's learned something new about himself. He's 50-50, down the middle, men, women, and that's definitely not true either. Lately, I've been trying to think of ways to describe the border region of the spectrum between gay and bi, and the best thing I've come up with is a geography metaphor. And if you didn't think I was nerdy enough to use a geography metaphor to describe my sexuality, have you seen this channel? I literally rant about Shakespeare. I got this idea from a field trip we took in my college geography class. Our professor took us to a park on the west side of Chicago, led us down a path, and then stopped and spread his legs apart. He told us that Chicago was built on a continental divide, and that drops of rain that fell by his left foot would flow north, eventually ending up in the Great Lakes in Hudson Bay and the drops that fell by his right foot would flow south into the Gulf of Mexico. There was clearly a border there, but it was flat. There was no giant wall. We humans could walk easily between one side and the other. And that's how I've come to, metaphorically, think about those of us who are on the border between gay and bi. That we're living in this village on a continental divide, maybe somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Rain that falls on the west side of town ends up in the shiny gay Pacific Ocean, and rain that falls on the east side of town ends up in the warm, bisexual Gulf of Mexico. But the people who live there can buy a house on either side of town and they can visit and date whoever they want. Most of the weddings in town are same sex, but there's a few opposite sex ones, the occasional polyamorous group wedding, and lots and lots of adopted children. If you came to this video to see which side of the divide I chose, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but right now to describe myself I use the words gay, queer, and occasionally bi interchangeably. If you're in the position that I am, and you choose to identify as gay, I fully respect that. It still takes takes a lot of courage to say, in the most societally legible way, I am a guy who likes guys, or I am a girl who likes girls, or I am a non-binary person who likes other masculine, feminine, non-binary people, etc. If you're in this situation and you choose to identify as bi, I fully respect that too. There's too many people in our society who don't think that bisexuality is a thing that exists, and it definitely does. And if you're in this situation but you're stuck in the middle, all I can say is, I'm right there with you. I put some videos and podcasts and writings from other lovely people about this topic down in the description, and I'd love to talk with you about this, whether in comments or by email. I'm not sure how to end this video. Here, take, take your hand, take your left hand, and make it into this shape. Hold it up to the camera. Here, line it up. Line it up nice. Okay. We made a heart.